it's that time of year again. I hope the snow has melted where you are and you're beginning to think about lawn care. I'm in New Jersey and we were fortunate to have a very mild winter. In fact, I never touched my snowblower this year. A lot of people have followed my lawn care plans for the past two years and they've been asking to see my 2020 plan. In 2018, I created a six cycle lawn care calendar adapted from the Lawn Care Nuts hybrid organic lawn plan for cool season lawns. Then last year, I divided my yard into six sections to test various fertilizers and biostimulants. If you missed that video, look for a link in the video description below. Well, 2020 will be an evolution of what I've learned over the past two years. I'm still using that same six cycle calendar format, but I've created two different fertilization plans, one for beginners and one for advanced, dare I say, lawn care nuts. Throw her down, let's hope for the best. Welcome home. The beginner plan was created primarily for my daughter, Julie, and son-in-law, Josh, who bought a foreclosure in the fall, and we've been renovating it in a new series on my channel called The Living Flip. I bought Josh a spreader and a bag of fertilizer in the fall just to introduce him to lawn care, so he's a complete newbie. Whether you're a relatively new homeowner or an all-out lawn care nut, I think you'll find something interesting in these two plans. All right, let's get to it. If you need shade on your deck or patio this summer, check out Toya Grid Pergola Kits. You source the lumber locally and can assemble this modular system in as little as 30 minutes. Check the video description for links to videos and more information about Toya Grid. All right, before I get started, I want you to know that there is a download of this spreadsheet available. Just check the link in the video description. You can put, download it as a PDF, or you can even make a copy of it in your own Google Drive. This is done with a Google Sheet, and you can make a copy of it and customize it for your own needs. So as I mentioned, this is a six cycle plan that starts at towards the end of March here in New Jersey. That seems to be the best time for me, which you can do in your area. You could make each one of the cycles longer, or you can add a cycle depending upon how you want it to work. And uh, so this is for the 2020 plan. You can see that um, I start each one of my cycles with a round of fertilizer. And so I'm going to be putting down six cycles of fertilizer. I also put on here uh, two applications of a pre-emergent that prevents crabgrass and other weeds. And I do a few rounds of antifungal because I am prone to getting disease here in New Jersey. And I have a treatment for bagworms and a treatment for grubs, as well as a window for seeding towards the end of August if I choose to seed. So... That's basically my plan, and uh, it's the same basic plan, calendar-wise, that I've had for the past two years. Now what you see here is what I call the beginner plan, and the beginner plan is basically products that you can get readily available, usually at your Home Depot or Lowe's. There's a lot of Scott's fertilizer here. Now you don't have to use Scott's. I've used Scott's in the past and I've gotten really good results with it. So if you are a beginner, I think that's a great place to start. But certainly you can go with Vigro or any other brand that you might feel more comfortable with. Whatever you can get. It doesn't really matter. But the basic process here for each one of these line items, you can see I have it based on these six cycles and what date that, uh, that cycle ends up being. But I put in here what kind of fertilizer, what's the weight of the bag. I put in the bag cost as well. But then you have to figure out the NPK those are the three numbers that are on every bag. You're going to see um, that type of analysis. And N is nitrogen, and the P is for phosphate, and K is for potassium. These are considered macronutrients, so that's what's on the, the bag itself. Then I figure out what the price is per pound of nitrogen here by the bag cost and what percentage of the bag is, is nitrogen. How many bags would I put down? What is that application going to cost? Where do I plan on getting it? And this is what breaks down to the actual pounds of nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, potassium per thousand square feet. So if you're new to lawn care, everything is based off of the size of your lawn. So you have to know the size of your lawn first. And I'll put a link to a video down in the description below. If you're new to this and you don't know how to measure your lawn, 
um, there's a lawn care nut video that tells you how to do that. So, but in any case, you need to know that size and that size is entered down here. Mine is 14,000 square feet. All you have to do is change this. If you had a 10,000 square foot lawn, you just change it to 10 and you can see all these things change automatically for you. The next step I put in here is Magical. Magical is a calcium it's a um, pH adjustment. I need that here in New Jersey. We have acid rain, so my soil is always tends to be acidic. So Magical is, is, I recommend it. I don't know that you can get it at Home Depot. You can get it on Amazon though. I'll put a link to it in the video description. And I like it because it's one bag covers my entire lawn. And if you need more of it, you do an application in the spring and the fall, and you just keep doing that until your pH comes to where it needs to be. Okay, for cycle two, here I have a Turf Builder Weed and Feed I put down here, and that's a 2804. Uh, let's see, I get that at Home Depot as well. One bag of that. Um, now this is the big bag, by the way, the 43 pound. This is the one that says it. it's um, good for 15,000 square feet. Well, I've got 14,000. It's close enough, so I'd put the full bag on my lawn. And this is that beginner plan, so this is actually what we're going to do in Josh's lawn. Um, then in cycle two is when I would put down grub X because grubs are an absolute threat to our lawns here in New Jersey. They would decimate our lawns if we give them the opportunity. So it's worth three bags of grub X to put that down and I can get that at my local Home Depot as well. Now for cycle three, I put down a biosolids fertilizer. Now in New Jersey here, we have a product called Ocean Grow, which is made locally and it's very inexpensive. It is completely synonymous with melorganite. If you don't have a local source, you can certainly buy melorganite. The next thing I would recommend in cycle three is disease X. Disease is something that we deal with here in New Jersey as well. Whether it be things like brown patch or dollar spot, it's another thing that's worthwhile and something that I find that's that's needed. So I would put that down in cycle three as well. Now they don't necessarily have to be on the same day, but they have to be in the same time period. And then for cycle four would be, uh, that's about July 4th, I would throw down this uh, Turf Builder Summer Guard. So this is really that four-step program that, ter that Scott's comes up with. It's the Turf Builder plus Halts, then Weed and Feed, then Summer Guard, then Winter Guard. That's really what it is. Plus I throw in this application of Biosolids Fertilizer because that just sweetens the soil even better. But back to cycle four, that's when I would put down the summer guard. And then I wouldn't put down anything necessarily in cycle five. Um, or I would probably put down this winter guard a little bit sooner. Somewhere in there between five and six, somewhere around there. In any case, there'd be that winter guard application too. Now, what this does is it shows you a couple of things. Number one, it shows you the entire, uh, it totals up the amount of nitrogen that you're putting on your grass the amount of phosphate and the amount of potassium. Now, I strive for somewhere between three and a half to four pounds of nitrogen per year, I think is for a cool season lawn. From what I've read, that's a, a good amount. So this spreads it out nicely and it's not gonna be too strong. Any application is not is not gonna burn your lawn in any way. The other thing is that uh, for potassium, uh, from what I've read, uh, about one pound per year is good for potassium. And again, this is, you know, subject to doing a soil test, which I have other videos that'll show you how to do that. But um, depending upon if you're a beginner and you don't have time or knowledge or desire to do a soil test right away, you can just basically go with what you get out of the bag here. If you wanted to put more potassium down, you can get a product, I, I put it down here, way down. This is a 0062, that means no nitrogen, no phosphate, and all potassium. This is called Myriad of Podash. I can get it locally at a store called Reed and Perrine. It's a 50 pound bag, goes for about $50. And that would, if I put the whole thing down, that would be two pounds of potassium. So if I was potassium deficient, I would throw the whole bag down. Otherwise, you could just put down part of the bag if you wanted to bring that number up. So that is the beginner plan. All right, now let's take a look at the advanced plan. So for the advanced plan, uh, a primary fertilizer that you're going to see here is what's known as Carbon X. This is a professional fertilizer. It's a 2404 is the analysis on it. And 
you can get that online. I'll put a link to it in the video description below. Uh, you get that from Yard Mastery. And again, you'll see that Magical is here. But the other thing is that Prodiamine is a pre-emergent that you would have to put down separately. So that's another separate product. It doesn't come in the fertilizer. So Carbon X is just fertilizer alone. So this is, this is how I plan to put mine down. I'm going to put down fertilizer alone, and then I do any kind of weed control or anything like that separately. So Carbon X, Magical, Prodiamine, that would be my first cycle. Okay. And you can see here that that'll get me 0.77 pounds of nitrogen in my lawn. And, and this sheet, by the way, is the same way. You can just change the amount of square footage that you have here for your lawn, and it recalculates these numbers for you. So prodiamine in cycle one and dithiopyr in cycle two, they are both different kinds of crabgrass preventers, but they work together. Prodiamine is just a preventative. Dithiopyr will actually kill it if it has already started germinating. This two-step strategy is for split applications of these two products. It works really well. I've done it in the past, and, um, and I must say, it really does work well. And, and as an advanced lawn care nut, crabgrass is your biggest nemesis. So to prevent it, with a double application is the best way to do it. The other thing I would do, uh, same thing as before, I did a Grub X in cycle two. And in cycle three, I'm going to give this X Green product a try. This is also from the same company that makes Carbon X. This one is an 818 analysis. And then come uh, cycle four again around the 4th of July, I would put down that application of ocean grow that'll be another half a pound of nitrogen and then in cycles five and six i plan on putting down carbon x again gets me a good you know 24 percent nitrogen and it's got peptides and other things for the soil that are in here this is supposed to be really good for not only your grass but also the health of your soil now one of the other things that some people might notice is that in my calendar i took off anything for uh next products this year that's because I didn't stick to the calendar. I did them when it was convenient for me, and it's not always that convenient for me, <laughs> I gotta tell you. So, but I did get good results with Next products, the biostimulants, and I will certainly be using them again, but I didn't put them on the calendar. Um, I don't know what else to say about that, but it was, it was aspirational and I failed, so. But that's it, that's my uh, lawn care plan. This is, this is what I'm gonna be doing in my yard, and the beginner plan is what I'm going to be doing in Josh and Julie's yard. I'm going to basically show Josh how to do this himself. And as far as prices go, you can see that I did factor out the application cost. So the beginner plan is $473.51 without tax, of course. But the advanced plan comes out to $627. So that's roughly $150 more for the advanced plan. And the majority of that comes from... Uh, the separate applications of prodiamine and dithiopyr. It's really pretty comparable, to tell you the truth. One difference, though, is it does give me more nitrogen. This one gives me a little over four pounds of nitrogen and higher on the, uh, the potassium as well. Uh, you can get this exact download by following the link in the video description below. I hope you have a great season, and uh, I probably will be doing other videos this year as well, but uh, keep an eye out. So that's it. That's my lawn care plan for 2020. Hopefully you found this useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in the next one. Welcome home. Be sure to subscribe and watch our new series, The Living Flip. Ooh. That has inch and a quarter. That's the little one. That's the